<laughs> Go get those point juice. You're so impatient. You can't wait your turn, can you? I'm usually a very patient person, but when it comes to ballet, I'm not very patient. Oh, yo. Good afternoon, everybody. So we are well underway on our school day, and we're actually completing our last couple days of school before, before where do we go this week? Huh? Don't tell them where, but what are oh, we doing? Uh, we're going on vacation. We are. And some of you have guessed, so good guessing. Um, anyway, yeah, we are heading on vacation. Um, I kind of, <laughs> if you've noticed, the vlogs have been a little bit here and there besides starting school and then uh, getting ready for vacation. I actually ended up sick this week. So, <laughs> oh, it's been very sporadic. I had bronchitis, so <sighs> I was feeling pretty bad for several days there. Um, and I'm still getting over it. The doctor has me on some antibiotics and a steroid right now to help with that. So anyway, but that is not why I picked up the camera because why did I pick up the camera, Ireland? We're going to my first point shoe fitting today. Yes. At what time are we on? I think six o'clock is your slot. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so we had to sign up for slots and there were only two left. <laughs> I saw the email come in and it had come in like two hours previously. <laughs> and I said to Ireland, I'm, only, I'm like, I'm gonna look for it. And then if we don't hear anything, I'll just send off an email because we're getting ready to leave on vacation. So I needed yeah. to make sure we got set up and uh, all the slots in that two hour period except for two had been taken so, yeah, so it worked out though we got we got a slot that we could so she is she has to wear her tights today everything else yeah. she doesn't yeah so but. i'm just wearing my shirt my necklace <laughs> my a button fell off my shirt and i was so sad yeah i think i found the button but i have to look and see what color the button was gone no the washing so. machine ate it hello hi buddy okay i don't know what happens there we're having an issue with our you know who, we call her countertop lady, otherwise known as Alexa. But anyway, uh, we've been having some issues when Matt tells her to drop in. She plays a very nasty, nasty song and we're not sure why, so. We can't get her to stop <laughs> doing it. I think it has something to do with, we changed the name of the one downstairs because it kept going off like all the time. So we changed it to a name that was a little harder for it to go off to. But now it seems to be doing this every time he tries to drop in up here, so. I think we're gonna have to change it back. Anyway, we are in the middle of our school day, and then we've got doctor's appointments. Yeah. Ireland and Braxton have their yearly physical, um, plus we're establishing care with our family doctor, so it was a perfect time to get it done. I need to get updated and make sure everybody's all set and ready, so. Anyway, we are gonna finish up Ireland school day, she's almost done. And then I think it's Zane's turn next. We're gonna try to get as many people in before the doctor's appointment, and then we'll just finish. And Aspen's day is over, other than his little bit of homework he has to do, and Ireland's got most of her homework done, but I think she needs help on one piece here, so. All right, we are gonna get back to, where, where were we at? Did you figure it out? Mm, no, I need help with this one. Okay, so what's he doing? Uh, what is your subject doing? Chores. Chores. So that is your uh, verb. Is it will or leave? Well, they're leaving, so that would be the... Right. It's okay. leave and then when or how, right? Mm -hmm. Soon. Okay. And cheerfully did his chores, good. Mm -hmm. We switched typing classes this year, you guys, so now they're using something called um, good typing to do their typing classes. All right, so Braxton Hello. and Ireland. I don't even know if you can see him because I'm not really looking at the camera. Anyway, we are headed off to the doctor's office to get their yearly physicals. Oh, and then I think that's the last of the kids. I think everybody's been in to see the doctor and get their checkups and all that good stuff. So 
All right, we're off. Okay, we finished our school day and we're back from the doctor's office. I'm actually just closing up our school day. I have a mess on the dining room table right now, but what else is new, huh? <laughs> anyway, um, we are waiting. Ireland has a six o'clock point shoe fitting, so she's super excited for that. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna get some more laundry done because I'm trying to get packed for our trip. Um, so I want all of our laundry done. I've got all the dishes caught up, almost. I don't want to leave any dishes or anything in the sink. I want to leave a clean house and then come home from vacation to a clean house. You know, it just feels, I feel like it feels so much better that way instead of like leaving and having such a good time and then coming home and then there's like stuff everywhere, you know? So that is what my last two, like, well, three days, I guess, because we're not leaving till later in the afternoon. Um, on the day that we're gonna leave. So I'm gonna get some our packing done actually that day. I'm doing like all the prep for our trip. And then I'm gonna put a list together, I think the night before of everything that I wanna make sure that we have for the trip. Um, and we're gonna do a bit of shopping and stuff that we need to get done. And then I'm just gonna spend the rest of the next day packing. I don't think I have, yeah, I have nothing planned. We were gonna try to go with our homeschool group because they're taking a hike that day. But um, we would have to actually drive out of town and go do that. And I thought to myself, I just don't want to push it. Like I'd have to leave early in the morning just to meet everybody there. And then we'd go and then come home and I'd be rushing to get packed. And I just don't want to do that. I want to just relax and enjoy the day. So we're just going to take a vacation that day and then we'll see everybody the following week. Um, we're going to do a luau party. So that's going to be really fun. I'm excited for it. And that's how we're going to kick off our our homeschool group school year, I guess we could say. Oh, and then Ireland is back into ballet that month and Aspen starts his next level of swim class. So I didn't even get to update you guys. He got a really awesome letter from his swim teacher that I'm gonna put in his, in his book of like things to remember. And she said she just really appreciated like um, how caring he was, always making sure like his classmates were okay and things like that. And then she said he had a beautiful front stroke, like his front swimming that he was doing. So she just said he had an amazing front stroke and uh, that he was definitely ready for the next level. So I'm excited for that. Um, for him to start that. So that's kind of what's been going on here. And we're super pumped to go on our trip and get Ireland to her point shoe fitting tonight. So lots of good things going on, you guys. Lots of good things. And I'm glad I got what was going on taken care of before we went on our trip. Because I was like, oh, I don't want to be miserable on the trip. So, all right. I'm going to close out our school day. Um, Yeah. It's been a busy day. I got things scheduled for the upcoming next few months because we have some more like doctory things to take care of for the kids, things like that. So yeah, we're busy. Skylar's got to go in for a haircut and it looks like he's setting up for, he has an interview for um, a job coming up here when we get back from vacation that he's looking into. He had applied to a few places and um, this one I think he said he applied to yesterday and they already contacted him today. So he was, he was pretty pumped about that. Um, oh, an update on Charlie and Ryan and Gray. I haven't gotten to give you an update on a lot of people in the family recently, but um, update on them. They actually went through COVID um, over the last couple of weeks. So they're now on the mend and recovering from that. They're actually going to be coming to the house and stuff while we're gone, checking on things, taking care of the fish. Um, I think I'll water the plants before we leave so I won't have to ask them to water the plants or anything. They'll be fine. I only water my plants once a week. so And they do really well that way. They don't need a lot of water. Actually, my cactus, I think I only water like every two to three weeks. so Because he just doesn't need a lot. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on here, and Skylar is getting to where he is at the point of looking for a place to move out to, so he's going to be spreading his wings and flying and leaving the nest coming up here, not really, really soon, um, but probably in the very near future, so you won't see him on here as often, probably, um, 
but yeah, I mean, lots of things going on, lots of life changes, you guys. We're starting a whole new season for a lot of our children. You know, Braxton's gonna graduate this year. Charlie graduated college this, well, next next year, but this school year. Uh, Charlie graduated college this year. Skylar's probably gonna be moving out um, either this, at the end of this year, or maybe sometime within the next beginning of next year. So we're possibly looking at moving. So we have been house hunting, we've been telling you that. Tierland's gonna be starting college. <sighs> Next year, Ireland and Zane go to high school. I mean, is this crazy? It like moves so fast. <sighs> How crazy, huh? All right, well, next life event, point shoes, huh? All right, so we are off to where? I'm gonna get my shoes. I'm gonna get uh, my shoes, yeah. I'm gonna get my shoes. He won't let it go, Ireland. He's insisting that it's his day to get fitted for point shoes. You get fitted for ballet shoes, guys. Yeah, I, I'm sorry for confusing you, but men don't do porn. What? That's not true. There well, are some. Some, some, some now. Do. Some do. But not in your classes, yeah. right? Have you seen my beautiful toes? They're already pointy. Oh, they're not beautiful. I've seen they are not beautiful. You already have point. You already have ballet. Uh, you already. Ah, See? I have pointy have toes. You already have ballet feet. You already have ballet feet. I am graceful thing. on my big toe. On, on a one single toe, toe yeah. Well, my big toe kind of goes out there a little farther. So, yeah, I'm a little <laughs> more graceful on my big toe than I am the rest of them. It gives me stability. Yeah. I mean, spin around on your big toe. Can you do it? Uh, Can you? Well, I don't think so. Can you guys spin around on your big toe? Oh my god, I need a haircut. Why didn't you guys tell me? He's having problems today. Yeah. I've been in a meeting all day. Hey guys, did you go a little stir crazy? Yeah, I was. I ran out of my office. So, are you very excited though? Yeah. Yeah. You've been waiting. You've been talking about this. Yeah. Listen here. This is not about you. You don't get point this shoes today, game. no matter how badly you want them. I need a haircut. You can get a haircut later. What? There's not any people here. So. I know. I thought we were going to have a hard time finding a parking well, is spot. Is it open yet? Yeah. Yeah? So. This. <laughs> Go get those point shoes. <laughs> it would have been funny if someone was coming down and they saw me like that. It's probably a security camera. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah. Well, you are a dancer. You're just dancing on camera. Where are we supposed to? I guess we'll find out. I think maybe you have to go upstairs. <laughs> Why are her shoes so loud? Yeah, they're all up here. Here. You're so impatient. You can't wait your turn, can you? I'm usually a very patient person, but when it comes to ballet, I'm not very patient. <laughs> She's so excited. You're not a. You're not a. Excited, are you? comfortable right now because they are like brand new and yeah, you got your so, shoes so they're not broken into at all <laughs> <laughs> and, and I didn't get to use like spacers and stuff because I have to try them on <laughs> and you're gonna have to sew them yourself aren't you I have to sew one you have to sew one <laughs> and I have to come to ballet class it's so weird <laughs> 
I never go to ballet class with you. How exciting, huh? All right, let's go pay for your shoes, shall we? <laughs> What'd you think of those shoes she showed you? <laughs> no, they're not. They are so comfortable. <laughs> she told Ireland, she said, be brave, Ireland. It'll be worth it. <laughs> I did stand up straight. I wasn't leaning on the bar for a minute there. Yeah, and to size them, they can't have any of the cushioning in there. Yeah. So she had to do it like <laughs> no training wheels. I thought I seen girls coming out with pony shoes. Yeah. So Ireland is on We had to go get money because we didn't know we were getting her <laughs> point shoes today. It didn't say that yeah. in the email anywhere. So Ireland is on her way back with money to go pay. It's more of like a fundraiser for the school though, right? Yeah. That's what she was saying because she only had, you guys, she only had to pay $10 for her point shoes. And then it was like, and then the supplies, the spacers and stuff that she needed were like $3. And there yeah. were little things here and there. So it was like $19 total. But point shoes are normally, she said, like $89, $90, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, so. Point shoes are expensive. These shoes were donated by a company that. Yeah, went out of business. Went out of business, but loved the dancers from this studio. And so they donated all their shoes to so. the studio so that they could raise money for the studio. No, now, do you need, know. is that the only shoe she needs this year? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but she needs new tights. Yeah. And she needs hair nuts and bobby pins. You don't need to, you won't wear the other kind of shoes? Yeah, she will. I will. So, I but she, hers don't, yours don't need to replace yet, do they? No. No, they're still in good shape, so. Because we got those right before summer ballet. Yeah. There's no glorious mustache out here for you today. I know. Your regular shoes might need replaced part way through the year, though. Because yeah. they've taken a they, they've taken a beating. They've taken a toll. <laughs> So when they're ready to be replaced, you let us know. We won't we'll be order. doing like too complicated stuff with these yet, so they will last a month. Yeah, learn how to stand up first. <laughs> well, that will be easier once I get like padding. I can't have as much padding on my right foot though because it's bigger than my left. How do you yeah, feel? her teacher said they're cool. cousins, but not identical. <laughs> it was like the worst pain ever. Was it? Oh. It was so uncomfortable. It was like standing on concrete on your tippy toes. I thought it was really cute how your teacher kept saying, be brave, Ireland, yeah. be brave. Yeah. She's That's like, funny. this is going to hurt. <laughs> and she wasn't lying, it hurt. All right, run up, okay. pay for your dance issues. And then hey, we'll grandma go. Grandma came to see Ireland's point shoes. Aren't they pretty? Oh, cool. Feel how hard they are. Yeah. I had to try them on with no padding on. Oh, how come this is like this, though? Uh, that's to tighten it. These are my oh. toe spacers, so uh, my toes grow straight. Uh, then my elastic, so I, they stay on. And then my ribbon. <laughs> are they pretty? 